If you suck at flirting, you suck at dating, period, end of story. Flirting is the lifeblood of attraction. It's the language of love. Without it, you are totally lost and honestly, screwed. And in 2023, not only do you have to be a master flirter in conversation with a girl, but you also need to know how to do it over text as well, since most interactions happen on dating apps or over text. By the end of this video, you have everything you need to effectively flirt with women and get yourself into a happy relationship or explore a large pool of high quality options. The thing you need to understand is that women are more emotional by nature. Men are more logical by nature. Both of these tendencies have upsides and downsides. However, this contrast between a man and a woman is often what creates a disconnect when it comes time for romantic communication. Men are overly logical and thus can't appeal to a woman's emotions. So he bores her to death and doesn't know how to turn her on or get her excited about the conversation. And he doesn't know how to communicate his value to her in a way that draws her in. Learning how to communicate emotionally with women is the bedrock of flirting. And since most guys suck at tapping into their emotional communication, it's no surprise men struggle to flirt, especially with attractive women when the nerves are high and the risk of rejection comes into play. That's why it's important to understand these fundamentals of flirting. The two pillars of attraction. In order for a woman to be attracted enough to you to agree to a date or physical escalation, she needs two things. First, she needs to see you as a valuable guy, aka a guy who she benefit from hooking up with. Number two, she needs enough trust and comfort to make her feel safe enough to comfortably escalate with you. Your communication and flirting must build these two things in order to get her attracted to you. If you want to establish enough value to get the initial attraction, the easiest way to do so is to just convey your status to the girl by being a high status guy, a guy with lots of accomplishments, a guy who is going somewhere in life, a guy with strong character, good personality, good charisma, etc. Now, obviously, in 2023, having a sick Instagram profile and a dope lifestyle is the easiest way to get the initial interest and intrigue from the girl. If your Instagram portrays enough status for you, you'll attract any girl who ever clicks on it or comes across it without you actually having to do anything. It can honestly do a lot of the flirting for you. It serves as your modern day business card, except it can get you laid if you do it right. And some other obvious ways to display your status are by having strong charisma and social skills. When someone is fun and intriguing to talk to in conversation, it draws her in. That is inherent value. And it makes people want to spend more time around you, specifically women, because women are emotional by nature. If you can appeal to their emotions and make them feel something when they're with you, your status isn't going to matter all that much because that is going to contribute to and add to your status. This is why improving your charisma and verbal game is always the easiest and ironically the most important step in increasing your value and status to girls because even if you're not the highest status guy in her head she will view you above other men who may objectively be higher status than you simply because you know how to make her feel something in conversation perhaps the easiest and simplest way to flirt is through a technique called magnifying magnifying is a technique i use all the time in order to maintain and create interesting conversations between me and a girl basically what you want to do is you want to magnify or exaggerate whatever it is she says into something that's funny, ridiculous, and most importantly of all, playful. This is perfect for creating a playful and flirty vibe with the girl so that she'll be more open and interested in talking to you. For example, let's say you and a girl are talking about lifting. She mentions that she likes working out. One thing you could say to magnify this is, oh, does that mean you could outlift me? Or, oh, does that mean you have bigger muscles than me? And maybe playfully grab at her arm. These are easy ways to magnify and make the conversation more sexual, more flirty, and just inherently more romantic and emotional. The beauty of magnifying is that it also creates easy opportunities for you to escalate physically, and you can practice it all the time in conversation. You can practice it on guys as well as girls, and when you use it on guys, it'll actually make you seem a lot funnier and more charismatic. If you want to get really good at this trick, I recommend practicing it on everyone you talk to. Avoid interviewing the girl. What do you do for fun? Where do you go to school? Do you work? Do you like it? Do you have a dog? What kind of dog is it? These are just really, really, really cringe things to talk about on a date because they don't really get you anywhere. This biographical information, although maybe useful later down the line, or maybe good questions to keep in your back pocket, if there's an awkward silence or you run out of things to say, none of these things are going to make her attracted to you because none of these things spike emotions. Nobody likes to be interviewed on a date when the whole purpose is to have fun and relax. Even I get triggered when I go on dates with girls and they start to interview me. The funny thing is, is that a lot of times when I do my own cold approaches, when I go on dates with women, a lot of that biographical information on where they're from, what they do for work, etc. doesn't even come up. 
we're just having fun, having emotionally charged conversations that are playful, that are about honestly really inconsequential stuff because the whole point is to enjoy each other's company and to have a good time. The most natural way to create this fun back and forth dynamic to have a more playful and flirty dynamic is to just start by asking her a question or two and letting the conversation flow from there. Instead of asking more questions, you should make statements about her answers and share your own opinions or relate it back to something that is applicable to you or your life. And again, once nerves and the fear of rejection come into play, guys get really nervous and scared about conversations. But the truth is conversations with a girl and conversations in general shouldn't be that difficult or scary. I mean, just think about it like this. You literally have conversations every single day when you interact with people and you've had millions of conversations throughout your life up until this point. So how bad can you really be at having a conversation with a girl? All you have to do is translate all of those conversational and social skills to a conversation with a woman. It's not exactly rocket science. There's no difference in the dynamic. The only difference is that you're too stuck in your head and psyching yourself out about it just because it's a hot girl with big boobs. Escalate verbally before you escalate physically. Now, here's what that means because it's actually really, really important. What you wanna do when you're flirting with a girl, cause flirting can be both physical, it could just be verbal. Before you make the first move of escalating on the girl, whether it's a kiss, whether it's you putting your arm around her, or something of that nature. You wanna escalate verbally first, so you're doing a sort of temperature check so you can get a sense of if she is comfortable with you escalating on her physically. So if you make a flirty comment or a suggestive comment with your verbals and she responds positively, we can safely assume that, hey, she's probably gonna react positively if we escalate on her. So make a flirty comment, tease her a little bit, make a risque or maybe even borderline sexual joke. Do some sort of escalation with your words first and then see how she reacts. If she seems uncomfortable, then you know she's probably still not ready for you to make a move physically so you can back off and wait till later in the date. If she reacts positively, then you know there's a very good chance she'll like it when you make a move physically by holding her hand, putting your arm around her, or even kissing her. Escalating this way ensures that the girl is comfortable at all times, and it gives you an easy way to read her interest level without ever putting her in an uncomfortable position. Slow down. When you get to more intimate environments, such as your house, a separate part of the bar, or a party, or just a more quiet and intimate place on a date, and it's just you and the girl, just slow it down. Talk slower. Keep really, really, really strong eye contact. Slow down the cadence of your speech, and you can even lower the volume of your voice because it's just you and her. And now she's gonna be more engaged and listening because lowered the volume and changed your tone. All of these subtle communicators help put her in the mood and will make your conversation a lot more romantic regardless of what is actually being said. And if she seems receptive and comfortable, then you can start slowly escalating physically and see if she responds positively. Frame. Your frame is your attitude, aura, and general vibe around the girl. This is actually the most important aspect when it comes to attraction and flirting. Having a rock solid frame that's unshakable creates a sense of confidence and stability that pulls the girl in like a magnet. The way you carry yourself as a man and the energy with which you walk through the world should instill confidence in the woman that she is making good decision by being with you. People respond to the energy you put out. This is why most romantic communication is subtle and unspoken. The way you grab her and lead her by the hand when you open a door for her. The way you look at her when she does something you don't like the way you look at her when she does something you do like. All of these tiny little things add up and set the frame and dynamic for the relationship. This is the most underappreciated and least talked about aspect of game. When guys talk about having natural game or the sauce, this is exactly what they're talking about. All of the little subtleties that go into creating your frame, which is really just your energy and overall attitude, around the girl. This is the most sophisticated part of game and the most detailed, and it's the most important to nail if you actually want to get advanced. If you nail this, you could honestly fuck up a lot of other things and still get success. You gotta have the confidence and security in yourself to say what you mean and mean what you say without faltering or rushing to qualify yourself to the girl. Your body language and the congruence with which you carry yourself will have a huge impact on your frame. Your words need to be congruent with your actions, and that means your body language. Strong body language is a necessity for attracting girls, and it can be insanely powerful when combined with a solid frame and eye contact. One of the most important nonverbal factors that influence how women perceive you and your frame is eye contact. The way you look at a woman when you speak, how you look away when she loses your interest, and how you look her up and down in a suggestive way right before you make a move. The way you look at her lips when you're trying to imply that you're going to kiss her and see how she responds. All of these flirty, nonverbal indicators build insane amounts of attraction because you're speaking the language of subtlety and body language. Saying a flirty comment and then letting the silence build as you confidently look her in the eye and make your intentions clear. The ability to maintain eye contact and not cower away when you say something to the girl is powerful. For example, 
if I'm making eye contact with the girl after we said something or we're just in conversation, I'm not going to look away until she does because I'm perfectly comfortable and confident to just look at her. She's right in front of me. I'm being very, very present and I feel very confident and secure in myself and in my being with her that I don't need to look away and feel strange or weird. Now, this doesn't mean we get into a staring contest, but there's something powerful about keeping eye contact and not looking away until the other person does. A lot of times, because women are a lot more socially intelligent than men, they'll keep eye contact just as long because they're used to most men being afraid or feeling awkward with a little bit of eye contact. If you as a man have such little conviction in yourself and such little confidence and self-esteem in yourself that you can't even hold basic eye contact with a woman and she feels more comfortable in a face-off with you, then why should she respect you? Why should she be attracted to you as a man? This may seem subtle and it may seem like I'm majoring in the minor, but these subtleties like eye contact, the way you carry yourself, how you move through space, how you move her through space along with you, all of these things make up a huge part of the experience that she's gonna feel when she's with you. Now, if these flirting tips still aren't enough and you wanna work with me personally to dial in your flirting and to get you on one to three dates per week with model quality women in the next 30 days, then listen up. Me and my team will personally pimp your dating app profiles with our copy paste templates for photos and bios that will convey high status and do the flirting for you and will get you anywhere up to five or more matches per day. Then me and my team will give you our arsenal of battle-tested opening lines so that you can flirt with these girls over text and turn the matches that you get with your profile into actual dates. We'll even give you our flake-proof texting strategy for asking girl out on a date she can't refuse because of the flirting techniques we teach in it. And of course, once you're on the date, we'll walk you through our first date framework, which shows you how to build magnetic attraction and have her chasing you down for second and third dates because of the power of the flirting you're able to do on the date. We also use this magnetic presence to crush your approach anxiety and show you our framework for cold approaching and attracting any girl in any situation. Wouldn't it be nice to know that if I put you in a situation with a girl at any time, you know exactly what to do, exactly how to flirt, how to be confident how to build that for it and what kind of eye contact to use so that you can seal the deal and get the girl on a date. This way, you can start walking away from your interactions with women with numbers in your phone and dates planned and you always know what to say and what to do without having to think about it. And on top of this entire system that we give you to guarantee one to three dates a week, we can give you direct one-on-one -on -one access to me and my team so you can start implementing this system flawlessly as you go on one to three or more dates per week in the next 30 days. And I know this is a big claim and you're probably wondering how can I make a, such a big claim like this? And that's because over the last year, we've had endless student results just like this that you're seeing on screen. Now, so if you wanna be my next student success story, you can apply to book a call with us and book an interview so we can give you a personalized game plan and see if you're a right fit to work with us and get your calendar full of dates so that you're going on one to three dates per week fast. We've literally had guys join the program and get a date within the first 24 hours. No kidding. So if you want to apply and see how it all works and see how we can apply this system to your dating life, tap the link in the description and see you very soon.